Welcome to the iVisit Presenter video guide. If you have not already installed iVisit Presenter, you can download the latest version from www.ivisit.com slash download. While in a live call or meeting, you can share your desktop, presentations, documents, applications, your browser, and more. To share a presentation, such as a PowerPoint presentation, Word document, or Excel spreadsheet, click the Sharing Tools button in the top menu and select Presentation. Select the file you wish to share from the dialog window, then click Open. Let's open this PowerPoint presentation titled August 2010 Sales Presentation. The selected file will open in a new tab and be visible to all premium and free participants in a meeting. If it's a PowerPoint presentation, each participant in the call will be able to navigate to the different pages on their own, but only you will have control over the page that everyone in the meeting sees. You or any other participant can share additional presentations, which will each open in a new tab. Let's open another presentation, this time an Excel spreadsheet. As you make live changes to the spreadsheet, each meeting participant will see those changes on their own screen. When you're done sharing a file, simply close the tab. You can also share any application such as Adobe Photoshop, Microsoft Excel, AutoCAD, or Mozilla Firefox while in a live call or meeting. Click the Sharing Tools button and select Application. Select the application you wish to share from the window. If you do not see the desired application, ensure it is currently running on your computer. Once you select the application, click OK to continue. The selected application will open in a new tab and be visible to all participants in a meeting. As you navigate the application or make any changes within the application, it will be seen by every participant as well. In addition to sharing an individual application or presentation, you can also share your entire desktop. This is useful if you want to open multiple files or applications at once and be able to quickly switch between them. It's also very useful for helping to troubleshoot an issue with your PC, especially when used with a remote control functionality, which allows you to grant another user permission to control your desktop remotely. Finally, you can choose to co-browse the web with meeting participants. Click the Sharing Tools button and then select Co-browse from the drop-down menu. Your default web browser will launch and the browser window will be visible to all meeting participants. They'll also be able to see any website you navigate to. When finished sharing your browser, simply close the tab. Remember that any of the sharing tools can be used during a one-to-one -one call or a multi-party meeting.